Welcome to BMW Today. Today's episode is about the Formula E and with me is BMW Motorsport Director Jens Marquardt. Hello Jens. Hi. Nice to be here. Jens, the season has just finished. How was it? It was uh, definitely a, a good start for us. Yeah. Um, Riyadh opener, we won one of the races and then two more wins on the way and obviously um, yeah, struggled a little bit and towards the end I think uh, we could have done better didn't achieve our goals, but um, yeah, I mean, we have to build on, on the, uh, the success we had in the beginning and uh, put our heads down, work hard over the break now and, and be stronger next year. This year generally was a very specific reason. What was so special? It's definitely a special season. I mean, obviously COVID-19, nobody has experienced anything like that before on the whole world. We did five races, then we had a complete lockdown. Nothing happened for months. Then we came to Berlin, 10 days, six races, three different tracks. So what are the plans for next year? Start strong, but then keep the level and be more consistent. And next year it's a world championship, so it would be good to be the first Formula E world champion. Electrification becomes more and more important. Is the future of motorsport purely electric? I would say you will have the power of choice in motorsport as well. It will be exactly the same as in our normal lives. What is so special about this series? Well, obviously what, what's really special is it's, it's the most sustainable racing series there is right now. It's obviously fully electric, there is no emissions. That's also why it races mainly in big cities or very close to big cities. It's really happening where electric mobility happens, right in the heart of, of, of big cities. There is uh, ways to interact as a fan as well, which is obviously very interesting. There is um, what is called the fan boost, where people through social media can vote for a driver they like right into the race and in the race he gets an extra power then on his electric car and can charge for an overtake or something. So there is a lot of very different spices to, to the whole thing and I think it's really worth having a look at it. BMW Motorsport has a lot of petrol heads as fans. How do they like it? Initially, some of them really had, had a bit of an issue with, uh, with the whole thing, especially things like the fan boost, where they say, no, it has to be the driver only, can't be fans voting. But I think a lot of them have converted already. They realize how much good racing there is, how tight everything is, yeah, the cars are very similar. So the, the, the power limit normally is, is limited on the output for everybody to the same level. So it's extremely close and tight and there is a lot of action. How is that Formula E connected to the BMW i in the company? It's very closely related and very closely connected. It's connected through the engineers. Yeah? It was exactly the same engineers that have done the powertrain for the i8, for the i3, all the electrified models. The same engineers have done the electric motor for the Formula E car as well. And the high voltage uh, control software that runs in the Formula E car is actually exactly the same code as it runs in the i3. What's so specific about this car? I think it's quite easy to say that from the front onwards to approximately here, it's all common for everybody, all the competitors from here onwards towards the back, it's different. And obviously underneath it's very different. That's where the BMW i FE20 hard is beating the electric machine, the electric powertrain and that's obviously our expertise. The paddles, do the guys still shift in the electric vehicle? Yeah, there is pedals on the steering wheel, but they are not for shifting. It's a single transmission, so no, no uh, gears in there. It's only a differential, so a T-junction. The pedals are for recuperation, so it's manual. The driver has to harvest energy as he is in the race. But I don't think he's going to be close enough. I think it's now time to have a look at the drivers and see how they can see and recap the season. Welcome to the drivers, Alexander Sims and Maximilian Günther. Hello Maximilian, hello Alexander, how are you guys doing? Very good, thank, thank you very much. Well, the season has just ended. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't enough for the title. How do you guys feel? Are you satisfied, Maximilian? Obviously, it was not enough for the title, but still fantastic season, you know, uh, race wins, podiums. Very good moments and uh, yeah, I really much enjoyed my first season with BMW. How about you, Alex, Sander? Yeah, it was fantastic to, uh, to get a second season. Uh, I was able to get my, yeah, my first pole position um, and win on the same race weekend. And um, yeah, some, some really special memories of working with the team and, and doing well. Did this Corona thing affect your sporty performance, Alexander? Well, it's certainly been strange, you know, it's, I think, strange for everybody these times. Um, but yeah, it was just fantastic to be able to get back to the racetrack and get back to racing and feeling the emotions um, of the competition. 
Jens was telling me that uh, there was a, quite a lot of races in the simulator needed to, to be done. How did you get along with that situation? Does this have any connection to real life, Maximilian? I mean, of course, you know, for us, simulator uh, preparations is always key, especially in Formula E. Now we had a few more races, you know, in virtual life, which was completely new for us. But I have to say, I really enjoyed it. It was great to keep a competition level up. And um, yeah, it was good to race the guys in, uh, in the virtual world as well. Would it be worth a try driving with a Formula E car for me as well? First of all, a lot of fun for us to watch to see you in a Formula E car. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, I have to say, it's, you have to experience this electrical torque. It's such an amazing feeling, you know, when you go on the throttle, the first initial torque is just insane. I think no. we can start with a run in the simulator and then put you into the real oh, car. Right. I think we'll train you up a little in the simulator. That's the best way to get you going. I got to take this offer one time. Well, thanks a lot, guys, for all your time talking to me on this one. All the best for the future. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, thank you very much, Jens, for giving us all the insights on the car, on the backgrounds behind the Formula A. I know you guys won't stop until we reach the top. Absolutely. And thank you all as well. Well, thanks for watching Beam Lab today. Um, that was the Formula E episode. If you like it, drop us the comments and the likes right down here.